Here's some news you might have missed on the Bible Forum this week. The Obama administration issued a directive to all 50 states. Open your lavatories and your locker rooms to people who identify as whatever gender those facilities may be. And this was sent to our schools, our public schools. This is reprehensible, I believe, to a majority of Americans, especially those with children. I would encourage the president, whoever, don't do it. But then that's what he said. If you don't do it, you'll lose your state funding. We will not send you a federal funding. We will not send you the money anymore. And I just wonder if anybody's ever heard of the Tenth Amendment to the Constitution. You know that little Bill of Rights thing that's floating around out there? That one that, that says that the uh, federal government has only the powers that are enumerated in the Constitution, powers not granted to the United States are reserved to the states or to the people, depending on what it was. The Tenth Amendment was written to emphasize the limited nature of the powers delegated to the federal government. In delegating just specific powers to the federal government, the states and the people, with some small exceptions, were free to continue exercising their sovereign powers. The Obama administration is threatening to cut off funds. I would encourage our governors to cut off funds to the federal government. There are 31 Republican governors. What would happen if 31 states refused to follow this directive? Would the government stop federal funds to all 31? What if these 31 states just stop sending money to the government? And I wonder how many blue states would join in. I think this is a battle that the feds just cannot win and shouldn't.